No sign of any bearers yet. I hope you have better luck downstairs. Quiet. Minimal loss of Waluda lives. And what happens when they run out of bearers? Even the Imperials take better care of their branded than that. This is even worse than I'd feared. So this place was no ordinary prison. And I doubt they'll have taken the creature with them when they fled. Nothing but a Kashyyyk down here. Hopefully things are looking better upstairs. I should go and see how Doris is getting on. Downstairs. But I did find out that this place was more than just a prison. Something far more sinister was happening here. I know. I've been reading some of these documents and... It can't be true, can it? Bearers die every day in service of their masters, but this... This is so much worse. Pitting bearers against a wild beast armed with nothing but their wits? and all in order to bring about more death. And not just those who could fight, but the elderly, children even, and those who wouldn't or couldn't were disposed of, whatever that means. I'm afraid it means they were fed to the monstrosity they kept here. Then we're too late. And I was a fool to bring you here. Don't say that. 
Did you find anything else? A key. But it doesn't fit any of the locks on this floor. Perhaps it will fit one of the doors downstairs. There's a corridor I haven't searched yet. Finish up here, then come and find me when you're ready. All right. I'll be there in a moment. afraid. Are you alone? Are there any other survivors? Some of the guards, they're still here. But something's wrong with them. Everyone else was eaten by the monster. <sighs> of course they were. Thank the Founder. It was worth our coming. But I'd rather we didn't linger. Are you ready? Ready when you are. You poor thing. He must have been terrified. Did... Did... Jadwick send you? What? He fought the monster. Distracted it so I could run away. He must have sent you. He promised to free the others too. Where is he? He opened your sound, didn't he? You wouldn't be here otherwise. Chadwick. Was that? Monster's back! Chadwick, help! We have to get out of here. Doris, keep the girl safe. All right. You put that bearer-eating bastard in the ground. It's out there waiting for me. I can't let it live. Not if it's got a taste for bearers.
Finally. Sid, are you hurt? I'm fine. I think. No. What is it? A diary. I gave it to Chadwick before we went our separate ways. He was here. Do you think that creature? I'm sure he fought bravely to the last. The girl is safe thanks to him. Chadwick. You fool. Come on. We have to get her back to the hideaway. We don't want his sacrifice to have been in vain. No. Of course not. I'll see that she's looked after from now on. It's the least I can do. I hear you've barely left the girl's side in days. I hope she's recovering from her ordeal. She is. Slowly, but surely. She's far tougher than she looks. I thank the flames we found her. If we hadn't... I know. But we did. I'm sorry we weren't able to save Chadwick. There's no need to apologize. Without your help, I would never have found out what happened to him. How he fought to the bitter end to save her. To save Heide Marie. That's the man I remember. The man I thought of as a brother. I wish I could have met him. I'd like to hear more about your past. If you don't mind, that is. Of course. You already met my former master. She trained Chadwick and I to do two things. Kill and obey. We were supposed to be sold to the highest bidder when the time came. But no bid was ever high enough to convince her to part with us. For years, we were her daggers in the shadows. But we could never quite shake our doubts about the things she made us do. And then, one day, we just couldn't do them anymore. So we escaped. But staying together was out of the question. They would have found us too easily. After so many years of training, the pull to serve was always strong. It scared me to think he might have taken another master, become a dagger in someone else's hand. But even in captivity, the battles he fought were his own. And he died not as someone's tool, but as a hero. Heide Marie is proof of that. Bearers can cast off their shackles. And the curse breakers will show them how. I'll fight until my dying breath to see it done. For Chadwick, and for all of us. Thank you, Doris. We'll be counting on you.
Come on. This be Micklebug. Thanks, girl. These people aren't turned. And the village seems safe enough at least. I came here looking for someone. To be honest, I... I wasn't sure I'd find him here. Let alone all of you. Hmm, is that so? What are you doing here? Is this... where you live? It is my home. The others... they... they heeded the call. You keep saying that. <sighs> what do you mean? They came here to perform the rite, just as King Barnabas instructed. This village is their altar, where they shall cast their souls upon the gentle waters and give themselves to the Lord. Give themselves? Oh, Lord, cleanse us of our sins. Let us be reborn in your loving arms. Free us from the torment of this mortal realm. They want to be saved. Forgive me, but did another foreigner like me come here? He was probably wearing a cowl. You mean the traveler from stone? Yes. He is staying at my house, toward the rear of the village. Thank you. If you don't mind, I'll go and greet him. They seek the same salvation Barnabas did. At least the third chair still lives. Let's go and find him. Excuse me, are you with the Undying? I am. And so it would appear, are you? Lord Rosfield, if I am not mistaken. That's right. And you must be the third chair. I am. Cyril was worried for your safety. He sent me to find you. Then I must apologize. I did not mean to trouble the bearer of the burning quill, much less you, my Lord Marquis. He said that you had failed to report. Is there a reason for that? I came here to study the followers of this new faith. But the more I learned of them, the more my own faith began to falter. You have seen them at their prayers, have you not? They devote themselves to the veneration of their lord 
with a fervor I have never seen before. Praying night and day that they might be rid of their wicked wills and reborn in their Savior's light. Not that they might be granted respite from their worldly woes, but so that they might continue to serve him. Serve him with all of their beings. I too swore to devote my life to the service of my lord and master, but this... tis different. It is more. And so I would see it through to the end. See these people safe, that they might achieve their dream. That they might do their duty to their lord. Even if it should keep me from doing my duty to mine. You do understand what their dream is, don't you? I do, my lord. They would cast aside their wills and become a Kashyyyk. I know that it may be hard to believe, but to these people, that is the very essence of salvation. Forgive me, my lord, but I must remain here. If you are to return to Master Cyril, I would consider it a great... Did you hear that, my lord? Something is happening. I'll go and find out what. Stay here. Beneath the flood. Oh no. There must be something I can do. as well. Found her. Ready, brother? Ready. Meet again. I've killed your kind before.
you die. Come on, speak to me. I had to save them. That they might have a chance to find true salvation. By devoting themselves to the service of their lord. Just as I did. When the Undying plucked me from the gutter and gave me a cause to believe in. A duty to serve was everything to me. And I would not deny them that fulfillment. Even if they must become a Kashik in order to achieve it. Forgive me, my Lord Marquis. I did not mean to trouble you with this. My findings. Could you deliver them to Master Cyril for me? Of course. Your duty will be done. Ah. Look, my lord. They are saved. Saved. Found her. I should get this report to Cyril. My Lord Marquis, welcome back. I am glad to see you hale and whole. I met with your third chair, Cyril. He bade me deliver his findings to you. Thank you, my lord. He remained in Ash? He died protecting the villagers from an echo. I buried him in Mickleburg. I'm... sorry that I couldn't save him. If you could not save him, no one could. The villages they were. Believers in this savior cult. They prayed to their god that they might be unburdened of their wills. Then an ether flood came. And their wish was granted. Your brother sacrificed himself that they might live. Even knowing that that life... was death by another name. Then he perished defending liberty. A hero's end. For the right to choose how one dies is no less sacred than the right to choose how one lives. <laughs> Sid would agree. He wanted to build a world where people could die on their own terms. A noble ambition. To die for one's cause is the most perfect expression of one's faith. It matters not how misguided others might judge one's decision to be. Only that the decision is one's own. We live according to the teachings of our order. We believe in them. We protect them. And yes, we die for them. For better or worse, that is our creed. But he didn't die for your creed. He died to save them. And you still believe that what he did was right. I believe... that he believed it was. We of the Undying are not slaves, but willing servants. 
And this was his will. The ultimate expression of it. <sighs> all right. I'd like to know this man's name, Cyril. To know the names of all the undying who've fallen in the line of duty. They died serving my house. It's only right that I remember them. That is my duty. Of course. I shall fetch the Book of Martyrs at once. My lord, it has been, and shall ever be, the greatest honor of my life to serve House Rosfield. Though our duties may differ, yours is no less important. I pray with all my heart for your success. And were they here, I have no doubt but that every one of my fallen brothers and sisters would feel the same.